will apply, then the system will be in equilibrium. So, <clears throat> two types of equilibrium is there, a static equilibrium and a dynamic equilibrium. A static equilibrium is the state of the rest of your body in equilibrium. Suppose that a uh, system is there and it is in the rests and if you will put it gets in gets toppled or some forces is uh, in the um, unbalanced directions. So if you have to balance it, so a static equilibrium is also required. So you have to do the modifications in the systems of the four systems, then the system is in equilibrium. And dynamic equilibrium relates, that's when the body is in motion with uniform velocity. There also the force will act that when you are driving a vehicle, force is acting and also the unbalanced force is there, then couple is acting and vehicle gets stapled. So for the equilibrium in the system, when it is moving, also you have to balance the system. So the system will be in equilibrium. And a resolution of the force vector involves the computations of the all components along two direction when it is a two dimensional force, when it is a three dimensional, convert it into the all three directions and sum it. And if the system is in equilibrium, summations of all the forces in x direction, y direction, z direction is zero. Okay. So you do one problem. Compute the, you write, compute the magnitude of the force F. Compute the magnitude of the force F. One minute. Hello. Okay, I'm in class after some time you call me. Okay, after 12.30. Hello. Hello. Pratik. Pratik. Yes, sir. Uh, you write this problem. Compute the magnitude of the force Compute the magnitude of the force comma F. Compute the magnitude of the force F comma. Whose components. Whose components. Along X, Y and Z directions are. Whose components. Along X, Y, and Z directions are 15 kilonewton, comma, minus 26 kilonewton, and minus 33 kilonewton, respectively. Which component along X, Y, and Z direction are 15 kilonewton, minus 26 kilonewton, and minus 33 kilonewton, respectively. Also compute the inclination with all axes. Also compute the inclination with all axes. Tell me the magnitude of the force and the inclination of the force with x direction, y direction, z direction.
So the magnitude of force is under root of one nine nine zero. Forty four point six zero nine, sir. Forty four point six zero. No. From y direction you will calculate means from which direction you are calculating. From where you are calculating. So minus 54.35. 70.34 degrees from f uh, direction. My, minus. 54.35. Fifty four point three five. From which direction? Minus fifty four, na? Yes, sir. From y y axis, positive ah. y axis. Ha. So you tell me the with the x axis. So x axis is seventy point three five degrees. Okay. Seventy point three five degrees. Seventy point three five degrees. Okay. And from the y direction? Sir, just calculating. Sir, just a second. Hmm. So from the negative y direction, it would be fifty four point three five. Yes, yes, yes. So forty, uh, so minus forty two point two nine degrees ah. from for, positive z. For that axis, the negative z direction. Ha, negative yes, z direction. How much? Minus forty two degrees. Two point two eight. Minus forty two point two degree. Okay. So from the positive direction, it will come. One thirty-seven point seven degree. Uh, you have one eighty minus. Ah, you tell me. Yes, sir. Sir, one thirty-seven point seventy. Okay, and uh, mm, y direction in positive. One twenty-five point six five. One for twenty-five point six five. All I've calculated. This is the simple that you have done in the class eleventh and twelfth. Just I'm um, refreshing it. So you write one problem. More. You write forces 30 kilonewton, comma 40 kilonewton. These these problems are related to the expressions. That's why I'm telling you, and you refresh it. So in the next class, different types of problem we can solve it. Okay. So. Uh, today you will discuss so the in the tutorial uh, we will discuss more problem and uh, from next class we will discuss about the truss okay because hello yes sir okay. ha, because uh, we have discussed about the system of forces addition of the forces couple moment variance theorem and then the equilibrium of two dimensional and three dimensional systems of the forces and the uh, equivalent of the forces and the equivalent of the couple these are the syllabus related to the force system of the forces okay so you write so in the next class we will discuss about the truss what is the truss that application of these forces because in that one we will devote more problems and uh, we will solve more problem so okay. you write next problem forces 30 kilonewton comma 40 kilonewton comma 50 kilonewton and 60 kilonewton forces 30, 40, 30 kilonewton you you hear properly forces 30 kilonewton comma 40 kilonewton comma 50 kilonewton and 60 kilonewton four forces is there 30 40 50 and 60 kilonewton are concurrent at o concurrent at o 
ओ का कोऑर्डिनेट लिख लीजिए वन कॉमा टू कॉमा थ्री ओ का कोऑर्डिनेट है वन कॉमा टू कॉमा थ्री सो दीज फोर्सेस आर कन करेंट एट ओ कोऑर्डिनेट ऑफ ओ इज वन कॉमा टू कॉमा थ्री एंड आर डायरेक्टेड थ्रू एम एंड आर directed through m coordinate and are directed through m m ka coordinate hai 6 comma 3 comma minus 2 in minus 4 minus 2 5 P minus three, two, four, and Q four comma minus three comma six respectively means thirty kilo newton force are concurrent at O but directed through M point and M point uh, the point M uh, coordinate is there six three minus two. In the same way, forty kilo newton is directed from N to O, and N coordinate is minus four my comma minus two five. In the same way, next force. Directed through point, directed from point O, uh, directed from point P, whose coordinate is minus three, comma two, comma four, and sixty kilo newton force directed from Q point, that is coordinate is four minus three, comma six. And all forces are concurrent at O, whose coordinate is one comma two comma three. Determine the resultant of the system. Determine the resultant of the system. Means here four forces is there that is originating from some point but meeting at a single point. So you have to calculate the resultant of the force. Sir, what is the last coordinate of N? Last coordinate is Q. For 30 kilo newton force, which is originating or directing from point O M, whose coordinate is 6, 3, 2. Minus For 30 kilo newton, yes, from sir. end point, 40 kilo newton is emerging minus 4, comma minus 2, 5. Okay, sir. 50 kilo newton, ha, uh, 50 kilo newton from P, whose coordinate is minus 3, comma 2, comma 4, and 60 kilo newton from Q, 4, comma minus 3, comma 6. And all these four forces are meeting at point O, whose coordinate is one comma two comma three. So you have you have to find the resultant of the system of the forces. So resultant vector. So the, uh, Yes, yes. So the resulting vector is uh, I one uh, one I cap eight J cap minus K cap. One minute. Uh, tell me. I cap plus eight J cap minus K cap. I. I cap I. Ah. Uh. Plus eight uh, J cap minus K cap. Ah uh, no no no. And how much you are getting the resultant force? Magnitude. 
So magnitude I have not calculated. So I calculate. You calculate, then tell me, and let other students also should calculate. the resultant force in x direction is 29.86 ah uh, tell me hello in x direction the magnitude is 29.86 ha and the direction of this one is okay theek hai the direction calculation is long ha 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 so sir minus 29.8 data re negative direction mein how much minus hello your sound is not coming properly Sir, twenty uh, nine point eight eight. No, no, I am not audible. I am not audible. I am not audible. Twenty nine point eight six is okay. And in y direction magnitude, you tell me. Sir, thirty nine point nine eight. Nine. Y direction. Uh, sorry, sir. Mm, some calculation error is there. Please check it. And also, you have to tell me the inc inclination with x, y, and z axis. So first, you tell me the magnitude. X component is 29.86. Y component is 65.4. And tell me the z component. Sir, 30.46. Thirty point four six. Okay, so you tell 
tell me the magnitude of the resultant. the magnitude of total force is coming 49.97. Uh, magnitude of the resultant is coming? 49.97. No, it is Sir, wrong. 78.08. 78.08. Okay, good. 78.08. 70, uh, that is the correct answer. Magnitude of the resultant is 78.08 kilo Newton. Okay. Yes. So you calculate the inclination with X, Y and Z axis. So you will get that uh, cos alpha is equal to minus 29.86 by 78.09. Tell me the angle in the same way cos beta is equal to minus 65.4 by 78.09. In the same way cos Gamma is equal to 30.49 by 7.09. Tell me the answer of that one. All inclinations. So the magnitude coming out was 78.10 kilo, kilo Newton, right, sir? Uh -huh. Good. I have told you. Yes, magnitude. Yes, I have told you. 78.09. That is equal to 78.1 something kilo Newton. Okay. Yes, sir. No okay. problem. Sir, Tell sir, me the inclination. Angle, yes, angle with X is coming out to be 159.05. 159. Yes, sir. Check. No. Sir, 112. Good. 112 degree. With x axis. Yes, sir. And with y axis. Yes, sir. Calculating. Yes. 146, ah, sir. 146. 146.87 degree. Uh, tell me about the jet directions.
Set the angle with z direction is 66.98 degrees. Good. It is okay. So you have calculated. Let the other students also should calculate. Aditi Somya. Aditi Somya. Sir. How much you have got the resultant of this? Uh, all the forces is there. So it is coming approx 78.09. You have calculated the inclination with the jet direction. No, sir. Still calculating. OK, calculate. Anish Kumar Barnawal. Anish Kumar Barnawal. Yes, sir. Uh, how much you have got the inclination with jet axis? Sir, still calculating, sir. How much you have got the resultant of the force magnitude of the resultant? Sir, root of the yes, sir, sir. No, no, no. You tell me. You tell me the. Uh, you tell me what uh, what you want to tell. Sir, root under. Root under twenty-nine point eight square plus sixty-five point three ka whole square plus thirty point thirty point four six ka whole square. अगर ये लिखेगा तो देन आई विल गिव यू जीरो मार्क्स यू टेल मी अक्षय पांडे अक्षय पांडे अनिकेत सौरभ अनिकेत सौरभ अनिकेत सौरभ अक्षय त्रिपाठी अनुज्ञा अनुज्ञा अनुराग गुप्ता आराध्या महंती अरूबा तस्सीम तस्मीन Aruba Tasmin. Yes, sir. How much you have got? How much you have got the resultant? Uh, the two minutes are calculating. I'll tell you. Sir, Aruba Tasmin. Um, I got it wrong, so I'm checking it again. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. I also got wrong. I'm very happy. Ah, so you calculate. Here you can refresh it so that uh, after that I will not give you the time. Just I will tell and this is the answer. And at least you have to know the uh, how you have to calculate the resultant, how you have to calculate the uh, forces. This you have to keep in your mind. सर सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट जीरो फोर व्हाट इज सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट जीरो फोर सर जेड जेड डायरेक्शन से डायरेक्शन उसका एंगल हाँ 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 ठीक है सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट जीरो फोर ठीक है डिग्री सर वन टू डिग्री भरी है सर वन हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नाइन नाइन नहीं होगा क्योंकि सर जेड डायरेक्शन में माइनस था कौन सा सर � जेड कंपोनेंट माइनस थर्टी पॉइंट फाइव के लिए माइनस थोड़ी है यू टेल मी दी दिस पोजीशन वेक्टर्स फुल मैग्नीट्यूड रिजल्टेंट फोर्स आई थॉट द साइन इज रिवर्स्ड इन माय कैलकुलेशन नो 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 यू टेल मी दी रिजल्टेंट ऑफ दी फोर्स सिस्टम सर मैग्नीट्यूड सर हाँ नो नॉट मैग्नीट्यूड all the four systems okay, magnitudes sir. with the uh, with the i cap you tell me how much you have got so it is 29.88 kilo newton i cap plus 60 no, wrong so it's minus wrong. it could be negative for minus yes. 29.88 okay so yeah, tell me who is who is speaking gorab dikshit tell so, me 
गौरांग दीक्षित सर गौरांग दीक्षित हां गौरांग दीक्षित टेल मी इस आई आई थॉट सर आई थिंक माय साइंस आर रिवर्स आई विल चेक द कैलकुलेशन नो नो हाउ इट विल गेट रिवर्स्ड सर आई थिंक समवेयर आई हैव डन समथिंग रॉन्ग सो आई विल चेक वंस नो नो आई यू चेक इट यस आई एम चेकिंग सर अक्षय त्रिपाठी अक्षय यस सर आई गॉट यस यस सर आई गॉट द डूइंग दिस अक्षय आई यस सर यस सर टेल मी आई गॉट फाइनल रिजल्ट एंड फोर्स है 78. नो 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 यू टेल मी द मैग पोजीशन वेक्टर मैग्नीट्यूड रिजल्टेंट ऑफ द फोर्स सिस्टम आर विथ द आई कैप and with the minus 29.88 i cap minus 65.35 j cap plus 30.46 k cap okay this is the right sir sir so ha tell me sir sir my signs were opposite sir because you told um, the the vectors were starting from the point p and going towards o so the vector will be p o and if we find the like no 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 I I I think you have uh, listened uh, not properly. First, I have told you that forces, these all forces are concurrent at O. Yes, sir. And directed through. So, sir. Directed through yes, these uh, different coordinates M, N, P, Q. So I thought you once said that it's starting from P and going towards O. So I. No 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 no. Okay no, sir. No no no. Okay sir. So that's why the sign was coming. Ha. So you first unit vector you will calculate O M. Yes sir. Yes sir. So unit vector was coming o opposite because I took O P instead of P O. Like I took. Ha ha. O P will be big. Ha. Yes sir. Okay okay. So, any students have any problem? Thapa University is learning. Aryan Sinha. Aryan Sinha. Yes, sir. Ah, what are you saying? What is the problem? What is the discussion in the class? What is the discussion? Yes, sir. 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 okay so in the next class we will discuss more problem and then we will go to the next topic trust okay thank you sir thank you thank you sir 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 Thank you sir